loves, it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing a super duper cool kind of deconstructed date night, girls night for Valentine's Day collab. Does that make sense? Basically, a bunch of other ladies here on YouTube have all gotten together and we're all going to be doing a piece of your face for a Valentine's Day night out, girls night, whatever you do on Valentine's Day. So I'm going to be doing the face. Then there's going to be someone else who's doing the eyes, someone who's doing the lips, someone who's doing the hair. This way, it's kind of like you're going to get a bunch of different styles by going and watching each individual person's video. So you're going to watch me first, obviously, because it's about the face. So I'm going to be doing a full drugstore routine using all drugstore products so that it is affordable for all of you if you are on a small budget, but you still want to feel really, really pretty and kind of feminine for your date night out for Valentine's Day. I'm going to show you everything that you can use at your local drugstore to get this finished look. In the tutorial, you're not going to see my eyes and you're not going to see my lips. You're just going to see the whole face, including blush, highlight, etc. foundation, obviously. Um, and then when you're finished with that, you're going to go on over to eyes and then lips and then outfit and then hair or whatever however they're gonna do it but I will list a humongous list of everyone's videos who's gonna be participating in this collaboration so that you guys can see exactly what they're doing and their video link this is also gonna be a giveaway so you have a chance to win a $100 Sephora gift card all of the rules will be down below and I think they're doing it really, really easily as far as the um, giveaway. It's just going to be through Rafflecopter, so I will leave that link below. You go over to Rafflecopter, you enter your information, and then it's it's all entered that way. So you don't have to have a bunch of comments on here entering. So be sure to go and check out the lovely ladies. Again, all of their links will be down below. Tell them that I sent you. Tell them I said hello. And I hope you guys enjoy this look. And um, I will leave everything that I have on my face in the description box below as well. Huge thank you to all the other ladies who did this collaboration with me. It's going to be so much fun. I hope you guys enjoy everyone's videos. If you are coming over from someone else's channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy my video and I hope you stick around and subscribe. Click. Click. I don't know where it is. Is it down there? Things down here nowadays. Give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful. If you love the fact that I used all drugstore products for you ladies. Um, and I hope you guys all have a great Valentine's Day. Happy Romance Day. And if you don't have a lover, don't even worry. Because you are all you need. Okay? Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Bye. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is put my Bioscriptives Repiderm Acne Treatment on. And I use this every single day without fail because it really helps to protect my skin against any uh, breakouts. And like, I feel like it's a protective barrier against my makeup sinking into my pores and making me break out because I'm such a sensitive little thing. For my foundation, I am using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Obsessed with this, it's so great. The color is 104 Golden Beige. So I just put some self tanner on, so I haven't quite developed yet, but by the time I have developed, this will be okay, but honestly, even this is too dark for me. The shading is, is terribly hard to pick when you're in the store. Um, so it's a bit too dark for me, but for some reason, once all the makeup is on, it always ends up looking fine and it blends. So if you, if you get it and you think, oh my gosh, this is so dark, what am I gonna do? Just kind of try it and blend it out and put the rest of your makeup on, kind of blend it down your neck and you'll be okay. I'm just using my Sigma HD 3D HD Kabuki. I love this foundation brush. I use it all the time. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. I do have a review of this foundation. So if you want to see like a full on like review, definitely go and check it out. I'll put the link below because it is seriously worth watching, I think at least. Oh, it's actually not too bad now that I have my self tanner on. I have like crazy wind and I'm watching this one tree and it is like swaying like a tanween and it's ridiculous. Like that thing is probably going to break too. The, with this wind has just been insane, like in the membrane. So even though all of the products I'm using in this tutorial are drugstore, my brushes are not. So I do apologize for that. I get stuck on the brushes I use and I don't ever venture out to get drugstore ones, but 
I'm sure that you can always find like eco tools. They're actually quite quite good. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is take my concealer. This is the new Maybelline um, Master Conceal by Face Studio. The color I have is Fair, 10 Fair. It's really light. Um, but then the next the next one up was so yellow, it seemed, in my opinion. Um, or maybe it was just missing one, I'm not sure. There was a few that were missing in my little display at my local store. But I'm just gonna tap this under. Now I do feel like you have to work quite quickly with this concealer because it really starts to like dry and settle in quite quickly. So it's not something that you can diddle around. Once you start your concealer, you need to commit to rubbing that thing in. Because it really does, um, you know, start to kind of absorb into the skin quite quickly. So I'm just doing it in a nice triangular section. And it, it is actually quite nice to have it so pale because it really does brighten under the eye a lot and make you look like you're super rested even though you're not, even though you always fall asleep while you're editing and you think, yeah, that was enough sleep, but then it never is you'll be okay. However, I have found that this concealer really does accentuate my wrinkles and look a little cruddy on my forehead. So I don't use it on my forehead. I used to always use like a little section right here with the NARS right in the forehead area just to brighten it. But this one, for some reason, just kind of collects into my wrinkles on my forehead. It doesn't do it under the eyes though, which is kind of weird. But on my forehead, it just doesn't look very good. So I usually tend to Stay away. Okay, for under my eyes to set, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Powder in Classic Ivory. This is 120. And I'm just going to take, this is a Stila number 9, and I'm just going to take that right underneath my eyes. So I like to set underneath my eyes with a completely different uh, powder than the rest of my face, just because I like it to be a little bit brighter under there. Um, that way it just still keeps that effect because even if you go with a lighter concealer but then your powder is the exact same that you use on your whole face you're going to lose that brightening effect and then you won't look alive and awake and you definitely want to look awake on Valentine's Day you don't want to give the give the impression that you're going to fall asleep halfway through the romance that would be bad next I'm going to take my infallible L'Oreal Pro Match Powder this is the color 300 I'm taking my Laura Geller Retractable Baked Kabuki Brush I love this brush for applying my powder it's awesome and I'm just going to take that and so basically anywhere that I didn't put concealer is where I put the rest of my powder and then I do end up going over my chin just a little bit. But yeah, I just powder all the way up to like my under eyes so that I can still keep it really nice and bright. But this powder is really awesome. It keeps the, the makeup in place all day. It does not budge. It's a really fine powder so it doesn't get cakey. So I've decided I'm totally gonna buy one of those tinky face razors that everyone's talking about on YouTube. Like Mel MPHS did a video millions of years ago about it. Shannon Rose just did a video about it and she was on Good Morning America. I'm not doing it to get on TV. But, you know, I look at these people and I'm like, God, why is their face so smooth? Why can't that happen to me? It's because they do that darn little sha face shaver thing. So I'm gonna do it. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm nervous. W what if I get a beard? Listen, everyone else, it'll work perfectly on, and then I'll be the one that gets the beard. And I'll be like, awesome, I hate you too. So for my bronzer, I'm gonna take the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in 720A Sunny. You can see I really love it. I used to use it all the time, and then I found one that I love more, which is the Becca. But for a drugstore one, I believe this is like three bucks, and it's really an awesome powder um, for contouring, because it's no shimmer. It's nice and matte, it's got a good tone to it. I do like the Becca better, but the Becca is like a lot more expensive. So if you're on a budget, this one is really, really nice. And it just gives a really nice contour color without being too, I don't like it when colors are too ashy and it makes you looking a bit deathly. Like this really just looks like you are healthy. You must, you must work out in the sunshine. And I'm just using my Sigma F40 
Then I put it underneath my lip to kind of give my lip a little bit of like, ooh, yeah. You know you want to kiss this on Valentine's Day and give me a rose and take me to a super nice dinner and give me a back massage. <laughs> I take my Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush and I just stick that whole thing in there and then I go underneath my jawline with this. The reason I'm taking a bigger brush is just usually because um, I do like to take my bronzer down my neck a little bit, especially with this foundation just because it has been a little bit darker than my natural skin tone. And so I just kind of, you know, like to do a big brush so it doesn't take me nearly as long and I can just kind of make sure everything looks all blended and delightful. This is new from Physicians Formula. It's their Argan, um, what's it called? Argan Wear Ultra Nourishing Argan Oil Blush in the color Natural. And it's really pretty. I like the packaging because it's gold. But then the inside of it is this gorgeous little like, um, you know, like that design, I can't think of what it would be. Like, I don't know, Middle Eastern design. And it's got a really kind of nice rose pink and then a really pale pink and then a beautiful coral in the middle. So I've been wearing this quite a lot lately. It smells really, really good. Like, uh, I don't know, it just smells nice. I really like it. But um, I'm taking the Jenny Patinkin, Patinkin, Patinkin Cheek Brush. It's so soft, oh my goodness, I just got it and it's like, whoa, baby, that's soft. So I'm just gonna put that right on the back of my cheeks. And this is a nice, really like subtle pinky blush, but because it has that little bit of coral in it, it really, um, it adds a nice amount of warmth without being, you know, too orange. So it's kind of like a nice mix between a nice, kind of dusty pink but with a hint of coral. Oh, I could just rub that brush on my cheek all day long. Nothing is soft. Okay, for my highlight, I'm gonna take the Physicians Formula Nude Wear. Um, this is the Nude Wear Touch of Glow Palette in the shade Medium. So they have a light one as well. The light one is a little bit cool as far as the highlight goes and uh, the blush is a little cooler, which I kinda like to put on the apples because it kinda just gives you like a little, I'm innocent. Um, but I do like the highlight in this one better because it adds a little bit more champagne versus like a cooler tone. So I'm just going to take my favorite little brush for highlighting. This is the Mali Dual Ended Blush Brush. And I just kind of go back and forth between these two shades. And then I'm just going to dust that right along the tops of my cheekbone. And it's just a really beautiful highlight. It just gives you that really nice like, oh, we're sitting at candlelit. And it's so romantic. And I'm so fabulously beautiful. You can see how it's just kind of giving me like a little bit of a glow there. I take it down my nose. And then I also take it on my upper lip. But then I usually just go and grab some on my finger and stick it on there a little bit more. Just to give me a little bit more like, you know, yeah. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that cooler toned one, the light. And I'm just going to get the little pink blush. That's what I like about this brush is because it kind of like has a smaller tip, you can get into these type of palettes that have a little bit of a smaller section. And I'm just going to smile, ding, and I'm just going to put that one right there on the apples just to kind of give me a little bit of a like baby innocent glow. So that's technically everything for the face. And I'm looking really washed out in this light, so I really hope that you guys can see what I'm talking about here and what I look like, but there is my full foundation routine for drugstore using all drugstore products, obviously other than the brushes. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish off my makeup and then um, I'll come back and show you the final look. Okay, so here is the finished look of moi. So again, I will list everything down in the description box so that you guys know exactly what I'm wearing. Don't forget to go and head over and enter that giveaway. Check out the other ladies, tell them I said hello. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in to my full drugstore foundation routine for Valentine's Day. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, my blog, samsherm.com. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me, please. Be sure to head on over to The Sherman Show and check our daily vlogs out. And please subscribe if you haven't already to that channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.